Hello everybody, welcome uh, back to Cape Rugby TV on a very, very stormy Wednesday. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, before we be get going with uh, the show, let's just uh, say that we hope that uh, all of you are safe out there. Uh, and of course, our thoughts go out to the folks that are struggling with domestic conditions and maybe have had their roofs blown off and uh, flooding and whatever other uh environmental complications there might be so folks hopefully you'll stay warm and dry out there um on me with the show this uh evening bronson Weir, head coach at the bell hello bronson welcome back yes thank you very much for having me once again appreciate it yeah uh morgan newman how's it james good to be here thanks for having me here. it's cold out there but um yeah rugby carries on it's quite lacquer actually i think yeah, well, rugby's supposed to be a winter uh, wet and Yeah, we're a, we're a winter sport, so a little bit of mud on the pitches here and there and so forth. It's nice, I think, we've, we complained about it being so dry. So now it's lucky to, <laughs> <point> to be <laughs> on the other end, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, folks, just big thanks to our sponsors that are on board with Cape Rugby TV. Hisense is, of course, on board with us as the uh, official technical partner. Score Energy Drinks, as you know, Score is on board with Western Province at the... Uh, in the sevens and on board with Cape Rugby TV and uh, you can of course get your score energy drinks and and um, uh, sell them at your club uh, great way to make money extra cash at any club and Dulux Maitland at number 30 Coburg Road you should get down there um, it will give you all of your painting needs and tinting requirements and of course to do those uh, specs for you color toners back on board with Cape Rugby TV after many years and uh, yeah, so those are our sporting sponsors. And of course, Belva Glass. Belva Glass has been supporting Cape Rugby TV for a long time. Uh, folks, if you want to win yourself a Hisense 40 inch TV, a smart TV, then all you need to do is um, grab your cell phone a little bit later and SMS the word best med to 33090. 33090, SMS the word best med, put yourself in the mix to win a 40 inch smart TV. And one of the guys from best med will give you a call to see how they can help you with your medical aid. Um, right. So uh, over the weekend, it was, of course, uh, UCT up against Hamilton's. That'll be uh, on during the course of the show. We'll speak to the captains and coaches as usual. We'll also take a look at the latest club rugby results and uh, fixtures. And uh, we'll catch up with the uh, Best Med uh, School of Excellence. Of course, the kids are getting ready for the Grand Coma and the Craven Week. And we'll have a chat to some of the coaches and players that are busy preparing for those uh, competitions. It was UCT up against um, Hamilton's over the weekend. Let's take a look at the first half highlights.
All right, folks, by all accounts, that looks like a rather uh, hectic game. Uh, Morgs, you were, of course, in the game, so we'll we'll go to you. Uh, you went into the halftime, scored there 19-14 in the lead. Um, UCT certainly looked like a completely different outfit from uh, what the, the scoreboard's been telling us over the last, during this season. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, UCT have really turned the corner, I think. They, they played some really good rugby. And, uh, you know, it's the same old story down there at, uh, at UCT. It's the fact that... Um, the wind had there, used to have the wind at their back, so it was important for, for Amis to keep the ball in hand throughout the first half. And um, thankfully, he scored some nice long range tries. But um, obviously, I mean, the center of UCT really ran some good straight lines. And um, yeah, I think, like I said, they've turned the corner now, and I think they're gonna, you're going to see them really start to kick on now and pick up big results. What would you say was, I mean, did you guys expect uh, such a tough game? Um, you know, when you look at UCT's results of the past couple of weeks, and probably not, you probably think, you know, it's probably a game we should have walked. But um, I think it's always the case of, you know, that turnaround off the Varsity Cup, you know, trying to settle into realizing this is a league, it's a completely different environment. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, you're playing against a different kind of player. And once they've come to terms with that, I mean, they've two games on the trot now, they've won. And, um, you know, narrowly lost to us this weekend. So I think they'll really kick on and, and go and pick up some big scops. So any team that's going to play ECT this side at the back end of the season, is gonna is gonna have the hands full. So would you say the scoreboards have been a little bit? Uh, Bronx, you guys have played played no. UCT. Um, would you say the 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 results on paper has been a little bit unfair on UCT? Yeah, the one thing that I've uh, learned from them from video footage from the previous games, I think they're starting to get the exit strategy right there, and then the guys are starting to gel. They have got a good young side, and the guys are really um, stepping up to the. What, what do you What do you level. mean by exit strategy? Well, well, from the previous games I watched uh, against the other counterparts, they played against the Falsbys and the Martis and so forth. They were running all over the show, uh, trying to run out to their own or too deep from the own half, and and I think this uh, this playing the territory game. Uh, much much more better this, and that's why they improved yeah all right folks um yeah so uh Hemis goes uh 19 14 into the lead and uh, just a well done there to uct on their social media feed i think it was a great way for us to keep a, an eye on the um on, on the results during the course of the game and you can remember of course hashtag hash wp club rugby if you're wondering why i'm wearing this big jacket well it's pretty cold so <laughs> i don't know the other guys are sitting in their short sleeve shirts but i decided today <laughs> is a is a is, is a keep it warm day um all right let's take a look at the uh, second half highlights now hamilton's up against uct of course home game advantage or home ground advantage at least for uct
Uh, welcome back, there, folks. Uh, right, so the uh, second half uh, certainly looked as exciting as the first half. Uh, Morgan Newman, uh, low and lower UCT, a uh, bit of tactical kicking there, but also some fantastic um, from the line um, uh, conversions. Yeah, I mean, look, he's got, he's got a, he was at Amis actually, uh, I think it was two years ago or last year. And uh, yeah, as we always known, he's got his good boot in him. And, uh, you know, he kicks it from all over. I think and he, kept him, he kept him in the game, you know. I think uh, in games like this, you know, a two point conversion. Often is what keeps you in touch, keeps you, you know, keeps you going. And if you want to, for UCT side, you keep, you keep you give them a sniff, and they they ten to one gonna well, gonna did, bounce it back. Did, so it, it did look like they were breaking the line a few times there. No, they they've got this. Like I say, the centers hard running centers. You know, they they ran at us, and again in the second half when they had the wind at their backs, they had no choice but to keep ball in hand. Yeah. And uh, and 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 when, when UCT do that, they generally are, um, you know, quite effective. So, I think it plays into their hands playing with the wind in the first half and against the wind in the second half. So. Again, like I say, I expect them to pick up some big scalp this, this season. And um, yeah, they, they, the current position is not a true reflection of, of the quality that exists in that side. Yeah, uh, Bronson, um, Valentino Wellman uh, yeah. was in the uh, Western Promise Supersport Challenge squad and of course comes into the ranks back there. Uh, that, that kind of quality player can make a bit of an impact on the day. Yeah, definitely. His experience, um, you can see it at the help there. I think he scored a great try in the, in the first half. Um, good speed, he can play wing fullback. Uh, all-round player. He was last year. I saw him at the at the uh, Suja Sevens at, in in Nairobi, and he actually impressed um, as well there for the Western Province Sevens team. So good experience. And then just a, on a last note, I see Morgan Newman scored there um, in, in, right at the end there. Uh, Bronson did. did I, I don't know. Look, the camera angle wasn't great there for us. But, <laughs> if the trial was any further, I don't think I'd have made it. Yeah. I just say, just say. Yeah. Well, I can only score tries within 10 meters of the trial. We're just wondering whether or not the TMO should have relooked the, the camera angle. Nah, <laughs> the, the never, line. never, never. As clear as daylight back. So you, you were on side? On side by miles. Yeah. Bronze, I don't know. Give me an independent yeah, opinion. Um, but I see the, uh, <laughs> but uh, his legs carried Move, him over. Moving along swiftly. <laughs> moving along swiftly. Right, folks, moving along swiftly then. Uh, we're going to take an ad break. And when we come back from the break, we'll speak to the captains and coaches. And we'll also bring you the uh, rest of the Western Province Club Rugby results from round eight. Christian Ehrens, uh, Esther is in at least, is of course head coach at UCT. Sanele Malwene is the captain. We'll speak to them. Nika Fun Yun, Brendan Grunewald, and of course, uh, Jerome Parvato will all be uh, in conversation with uh, they were, uh, Jerome was at the game, was, of course, also just looking at looking at the uh, the talent on the field. We'll speak to all of them after the break. Back in a sec. Get down to Dulux Maitland for colour matching and free assessments where we meet all your paint and contract requirements. We offer fast tinting turnaround time, free delivery and on-site assessments tailor-made to your contract or domestic specifications. Our staff are highly skilled at writing site specs to help you offer your client the best service. Our Dulux Rock Grip range is cost effective and comes with a 7 year guarantee on all Dulux Rock Grip products. Visit us at 30 Kuburg Road, Maitland and you could win a contractor's trailer valued at 15,000 Rand. Welcome to Factory Shops SA mobile app. This app helps you find your nearest factory shop so you can save money. Download for clever shopping in distance locations. Search or browse. See your nearest shop's trading hours, website or email them, phone them or navigate with GPS to the shop. It's so easy. Factory Shops SA mobile app is the first and only mobile app in South Africa that shows you where your factory shops are. Download now on iTunes or Google Play. Uh, folks, you're watching Cape Rugby TV and on board with Cape Rugby TV is, of course, Dulux Maitland. They're situated at number 30 Kuburg Road. Uh, Dulux Maitland will tint anything for you. They come out to your premises. They'll give you expert assessments. If you want to save a lot of money with your projects, especially if you're a contractor, Dulux Maitland will come to your premises. They'll spec your premises and they'll work out exactly how much paint you need. And at the same time, they will take a look for uh, things like damp or any other construction matters that they need to give you advice on. Um, free delivery anywhere in the Cape Metropole. Look out for their rock grip ranges, including the wall and ceiling paints, the acrylic roof paints, as well as the plaster primers, 
all available, of course, at Dulux Maitland, number 30 Kubrick Road. Visit the store and, uh, well, when you are there, fill in the form and you put yourself in the mix to win a contractor's trailer worth 15,000 Rand. That contractor's trailer is absolutely fantastic to put in the back of your vehicle, put all your construction materials in there, and uh, really it, it'll help you move all your um, equipment around to your different sites. So just remember again, Dulux Maitland, number 30 Kuba Road, they're available to help you. They come to your premises and they'll do a full inspection for you and work out the specs of exactly what it is that you need. And at the same time, they'll give you some construction advice. Well, in, certainly in terms of of the quality of the uh, materials that you are going to need. Right, welcome back everybody. Yeah, so a uh, fantastic uh, game there. Hamilton's against um, uh, uh, UCT. Of course, home ground advantage for UCT. Uh, we managed to speak to the coach at UCT, uh, Christian Esrazen, as well as uh, Captain Sonele Malwane. Yeah, I mean, Hamilton is always a, a tough one and uh, they are uh, top of the lock uh, at this stage. So, so we prepared like, like we will prepare for a Varsity Cup match. We expected what, what we got from Hamilton. So, uh, yeah, definitely tough. Um, but uh, not often as a coach are you satisfied with the, with the loss. But I think the way we played today was the best match we've played in this league so far. So uh, to get two bonus points out of it, I'll take it, you know. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get over the line, but uh, satisfied, yeah. No, it's always miserable and cold at UCT, <laughs> but I think, on a serious note, I think what a wonderful game of rugby, eh? That was enjoyable for, for both teams and spectators, it was just both teams played the ball, so just an enjoyable day and um, I'm stoked about it, yeah. Yeah, no, we, we're very young and I guess, I mean, we, we're students, so uh, obviously after Varsity Cup we were losing quite a lot of our guys to, to Western Province and to S120, so that is when we, we test our depth and we're building for, for the next year. So it's really good to see the youngsters coming through um, and performing against the top side in the league. Yeah, we've, we've had coming into this game, we had three wins on the trot. Um, so we're picking up momentum and we've got still four, four tough ones coming in the next two weeks. So we're playing a lot of Saturday, Wednesday games that really tests us. But um, yeah, if we can pick up a few more wins, we'll, we'll get right up in the top six, I think, on the lock. There we go, um, uh, Christian Esraisen, otherwise known as uh, Essie. Um, uh, Bronze, I believe he's just had a, you said it, he's had a, a baby. <laughs> yeah, after our game, he actually announced that he, yeah. the Wednesday, um, the Wednesday passed, that he had another baby, so uh, always having one. So all right, congratulations well, to him. Yeah, congratulations, Essie. I hope things go well there with, with the baby, especially in this weather. Um, uh, he's been around at UCT now for a while. Um, yeah. You, you can see the... You know, it's a good thing to keep your coaches. Yeah, he's been in the setup with under twenties and obviously the sevens um, and operating in the in the in the in the background. But uh, this, I think this is his first time that he's actually had an opportunity to coach the first team with uh, Mpo Mbiozo. So good yeah. luck to him for the rest yeah, of the that's season. That's right. Of yeah. course, um, Impi is the, the normal. Yeah, Impi was there, and um, you can see you can, again one of the hard men of UGT rugby for years, yeah. and then yeah. on to play for the Primark Seven side. So heaps of experience that he's obviously imparting on the players and. Um, yeah, that pack, that pack represented a lot of what Impi stood for as a rugby player, I think. Yeah, well, that's what we're looking for. We're looking to keep the talent in Western Province and bring our best boys into the game. Uh, Sanele Malwane is, of course, the uh, captain at UCT. Uh, let's uh, catch up with him. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, uh, we, we expected much, much more in terms of results. Obviously, I didn't go our way, but it was a great performance, great game of rugby overall, so very happy. Yeah, we've really picked it up since the, we lost the, I think the first two games and then from there we just built, we worked really hard, did our homework from the opposition and we really got uh, a lot of information in terms of opposition, how they play and we were, we were able to work from there and get like, good results since. Yeah, it does. Obviously everyone knows that the green mile, the wind is always a factor. So obviously we try to use it to our advantage. We, we initially wanted to start against the wind and then have it second half, but we started with the wind, so we just had to capitalize, capitalize in the beginning there. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. We're very, very proud. And like I said, we invested a lot in terms of preparation. And I think in terms of where we're going and how we're building, we really got like very, very good results. So I think the coaches are happy. We're happy. Looking forward to the next challenge, obviously. We're just building like every week. We're building. 
Sanele Mawene there, uh, obviously um, uh, a happy captain. Uh, seems happy. Okay, it didn't go. The results didn't go the way moves, but he's happy with the performance. He's happy with the squad. What kind of uh, attitude are you looking for? Yeah, I mean, look, if you listen to both um, the, the coach and the captain, there, you know, I think the attitudes are right in terms of when you've come back from from being sort of you know lost a lot of players to to Western Province and after the Varsity Cup, the performance is sometimes better than the result for the simple fact that. You know, keep putting performances like this together, and you're about to turn the corner. And UCT mm -hmm. are clearly about to turn the corner, and once they do that, it's a, it's a, it's a steam train that doesn't stop very easily. So yeah. it's nice to see, and I think, yeah, I mean, also another player that led from the front in the game, you know, was on the ground scavenging for ball. I think he, I think he may have scored a try, or the seventh flanker actually scored a try. So, you know, lots of, um, lots to, lots to take away from, from this game, and um, yeah, UCT are going to be a force to reckon with again, which is nice to see. I think Western Province Rugby really has missed a strong Western Province, uh, sorry, a strong UCT side for a while now. Yeah, well, uh, good to see them then on the comeback. Let's speak now to the Hamilton's coach. Of course, Hammy's uh, took the win on the day. Uh, Nikki Folyun. Yeah, look, um, if, uh, if you said to me a few years ago that, um, you know, in this weather and we uh, play UCT and we'll walk away with five points, I would uh, laugh at you and we'll probably, uh, uh, you know, but yeah, listen, we, uh, we were always, uh, always knew that it was going to be tough, you know, we prepared ourselves mentally for it and um, yeah, again, you know, um, weather was bad and um, we just played and um, worked hard. We had to work hard for this, uh, for this fiver, you know, and um, just proud of the boys. Um, and yeah, let's, let's just got to move on now and uh, plan ahead, you know, uh, we've got two weeks, uh, two weeks by and uh, yeah, we had a few, a few away games now, it's be lucky to, to go back home and uh, and uh, go play there for a change. Look, every every week uh, is a is a different different animal to to, to deal with, different beast to deal with. And, uh, and uh, again, you know, UCT would always always pick the game up for uh, against Amis, and uh, we we expected that, you know. And it, it showed again tonight, you know, they they came for us, they made it very d uh, difficult for us. And um, you know, I, f I followed them, and um, I, I, I felt that this uh, this week they they played out of their socks, eh? and they really really did well uh, versus versus all the other previous games. You know, you lose one game, two games, uh, suddenly your, 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 your league's um, uh, gone, gone messy, you know. And um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, we take uh, week for week, you know, um, and, uh, and uh, prepare. That's, that's the way we have our mindset and prepare. Nicky Falloon, um, head coach at um, Hamilton's. Um, Morgs, he's, of course, been at Hamilton's for quite a while now. Uh, yeah. Taken over from Anton Wilman and certainly looks like he's uh, slotted into the head coach position quite comfortably. Yeah, he's been there for a while. I mean, the last time the last time we won, or the last time Hamilton's won at uh, the Green Mile, I think he was a player. So I think it's eight years ago now. So <laughs> yeah, eight years ago since you, since um, Hamilton's have gone to to the Green Mile and won. And uh, yeah, he's been at Hamilton's forever now, and um, you know he's obviously uh, brought in a new culture, brought in a, a new bunch of players, and. You know, I think there's uh, there's a bit of a shift in the in the club in terms of yeah. what Anton um, had built, which is uh, which is rightly so. You know, I think a new coach needs to come in and, and bring his own uh, look and feel to, to the side, and I think he's doing that quite nicely. Yeah, mm -hmm. Bronson. Yeah, Nicky is a massive emphasis on the forwards, obviously, and the set plays, and you can see that the guys actually today that's why they the foundation for the strike runners to to uh, to play off. Uh, you need a good set piece. So well done to Nicky and his team. Um, yeah. Just. Uh, all the best to him. I know that they've got a couple of tough games coming up as well. And then obviously uh, probably a massive decide, decide at the end of the season against Martis. Well, we'll see what happens there. still early days. Uh, let's speak to the Hamilton's captain, uh, Brandon McCrinovall. Yeah, no, definitely always a tough game coming out to UCT, playing at home. Um, yeah, definitely one of our toughest games this season. But yeah, we're happy with the five points. Oh, look, we, we knew it was going to be windy, we knew it was going to be cold, we actually thought it was going to rain. Um, but I wouldn't say it uh, affected us a lot. Um, I mean, we always prepare for games like these, so no, not really. Yeah, look, uh, we take every game at a time. Um, we've been happy with the results that we've got. I think we're a very solid bunch of guys, uh, a net family, and um, yeah, we, we're just happy with the win. Um, we've got a two-week uh, break, so we're going to rest the bodies a bit. Then at uh, first, first week back, Steigerberg, so it's going to be a tough game. So we'll prepare well for that. Oh, there we go. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, the captaincy, Morgs, speak about the captaincy. Brandon Krunewald, um, how's he doing? You're obviously playing under him. 
Yeah, he's a leader from the front, eh? I mean, it's a lock that gets his hands dirty, really, puts his head down, you know. I think to a large degree, a man of few words, you know, I think, which is quite nice for Amis. Um, you know, in the past, we've always had quite vocal leaders in this, and he's more of a leader that says less at practice and does more, you know, just in the trenches, yeah. and it's nice to see, and I think he's got the respect of the players at Amis, uh, which is nice. And he's been there, I think this is his third year, or his second year now. So, um, still learning the culture, but, but, but again, like I say, you know, with Nicky and himself being new to the, to the, to the Hamish family, it's not that they're bringing their own look and feel to the side, and, uh, and it's clearly paying off by the results they've picked up. Yeah. Bronze, does it make any difference for you, uh, the position of your captain? Uh, do, you, do you prefer a captain who's playing in the forwards, or a captain who's playing in the back line, or do you just take the best leader? Yeah, that, that, is, that is true that you're looking for a good leader, but you don't want a guy standing at fullback and shouting instructions to whoever else. So a guy up front, close to the ref as well most of the time, possibly a nine. But I think uh, Patrick is up front there and he's been playing with, um, with a, I think, seven in lock now for, for, for the season. Yeah. All right, folks, uh, if you want to win yourself a case of score energy drinks, and then uh, all you need to do is um, SMS the word SCORE to 33090. So SCORE is of course on board with Cape Rugby TV and with Western Province Club Rugby. The sevens will be coming up later in the year. But as I said, if you want to win yourself a case of SCORE energy drinks, then uh, SMS the word SCORE to 33090. Congratulations uh, to uh, last week's uh, winner, Cedric September. Cedric, uh, you walk away with a case of SCORE energy drinks. One of the guys from Cape Rugby TV will be in touch with you shortly and uh, you can come and collect your uh, score energy drinks which has got a double hit of gurana in it and some caffeine to keep you awake during the day all right folks we'll take an ad break when we come back we'll catch up with jerome parvater he's of course the uh, head of talent identification at western province rugby um, and uh, was at the uct handballers game when we uh, speak to him and then we'll take a look at the other results in a uh, super league game Color Tone is to wood what a good moisturizer is to skin. Tried and tested, Color Tone is the ideal timber treatment for all timber. From windows to doors, decks to floors, chairs to stairs, Color Tone is your timber treatment of choice. When you see what a great job Color Tone does with wood, you may be tempted to use it on your skin, but don't. Ask for Color Tone at your nearest hardware store. Preserving your wood, protecting our children. Color Tone, the ultimate lead free timber treatment for all wood. Welcome to Factory Shops SA mobile app. This app helps you find your nearest factory shop so you can save money. Download for clever shopping in distance locations. Search or browse. See your nearest shop's trading hours, website or email them, phone them or navigate with GPS to the shop. It's so easy. Factory Shops SA mobile app is the first and only mobile app in South Africa that shows you where your factory shops are. Download now on iTunes or Google Play. Uh, welcome back everybody, it's Cape Rugby TV. Remember, one of the important things about Cape Rugby TV is sharing your scores and results with us, in these, especially on the weekends. And we want to get you trending again. So, hash WP Club Rugby is um, uh, what you uh, want to use a as your tag when you are sharing on Twitter or on Facebook or on Instagram. Hash WP Club Rugby. And so, Cape Rugby TV, we can share it and uh, air it. So, make sure you get those scores out there. Um, or results, or what color shoes you're wearing. It doesn't actually matter. Just tell us what's happening in the world of Western Women's Club Rugby. And it, it doesn't matter, maybe, if you're on a buy, that you haven't got something to say about Club Rugby. Um, maybe you're on a, on a break. Uh, it still doesn't matter. So, just share what's happening in your community. Share what's happening at your club. And we'll tell everybody and keep the gears going. If you go quiet, there's no gears. If you tell us what's going on, well, there's always extra gears. Jerome Parvater is, of course, the head of talent identification at Western Province Club Rugby. He was at the UCT Hamilton's game. We managed to catch up with him after the match. Yeah, first of all, it's uh, very cold at the Green Mile today. And um, I thought uh, the weather might play a big factor. Uh, because the UCT played with the wind in the first half, but uh, it seems the wind calmed down in the second half, so it was pretty much level. And uh, what a great game of rugby, eh? Yeah, definitely. Uh, they've got a pretty, pretty young side. I think they're busy building for Varsity Cup for next year, but um, I expected uh, actually a higher score from Emmys in 26-33. Uh, it's not a bad result for, for UCT, but it was a great game of rugby and uh, I mean the guys showed uh, um, 
great skills in, in this weather and uh, a lot of patience on the ball and um, both teams uh, good defense and yeah it was hard fought uh, up front and um, but at the end of the day Emmy's just a little bit uh, more experience in the pack and uh, more stronger than the UCT guys but UCT can uh, keep their head high. Always nice catching up with Jerome Parvater and uh, hopefully he spots a few boys there that will make it into the Western Province ranks. Uh, some good talent there um, on the day. Right, Super League A, of course, continued to roll out. The weather, of course, uh, um, was a little bit rough on a Saturday. I think it started getting dark over Cape Town, but not enough to rain, not like it is today. Um, Morgan Newman, today, incidentally, the Lions played against the Blues, but I'm going to catch up with you about that a little bit later because I think you can give us some great insight as to the British and Irish Lions tour. They lost to the Blues today, folks. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Super League A, of course, it was UCT beating um, Hamilton's over, uh, losing to Hamilton's over the weeken NTK, well, it was a... Um, 27-24 uh, win for them over Peniel Villagers. Two tries from Marco Maria helped NTK secure their first win, beating uh, Peniel Villagers 27-24. for And then Belha, um, without uh, eight first-team players as they went down, 42-27 to False Bay. Dani Roo scoring twice for False Bay. So Super League A there. Um, Bronson, um, a close game between NTK and Peniel Villagers. Yeah, definitely. I think a much, a much needed win for Wilbur there. I think he'll be smiling. He's got us this weekend, so... I might just close his smile. <laughs> so it's Belha up against uh, NTK this weekend. Yeah, I think he'll have his work cut out for him. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. We 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 really looking up to, to stand up after that uh, the last uh, last last against Fals Bay. I think uh, with seven minutes to go, it was 27 also. Things could have been completely different if yeah. if a couple of calls went that way in that yeah. match. Morg's uh, Belha Fals Bay game. Um, uh, that, that, that I mean, uh, let's take Bronson out the picture. Yeah, Fals Bay too strong for Belha. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think uh, that game, two things, you know, I think... You've played uh, both. You've oh, yeah, played against Force Bay and a, you drew to both Fals, sides. Uh, I think. We drew to Force Bay and we, and we narrowly beat Baha. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, it's, uh, again, you know, Baha are a tough side, you know, wherever you play them. But in that game, being at Baha probably would have been a different story. Have you got any, any advice for, then, for, for Bronson, yeah? Um, look, <laughs> I think it's a bit late <laughs> now. But 27-0 um, with 10 minutes to play uh, I guess, against a strong Force Bay side with uh, eight players gone. Shows the depth that, that Belhar currently have, you know, and I think yeah. it's, it's nice to see because we need some teams that are really going to push the likes of Hermes, Force Bay, yeah. Stellenbosch. You know, it's nice to see these teams pushing them. Bronson, I mean, you still put 27 points on the board. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, once again, Junaid Aarons kept us in the game with the boot. Um, he slotted some good penalties there. Yeah. And then, obviously, a, a great um, try by Joel, um, Joel Boyson from our own 22. Um, with some quick with with uh, the nippy guys from Falls Bay chasing you all the way to the dry line, but definitely it was uh, I think uh, Falls Bay's bench uh, really pushed through at the end there um, to score two tries at the end, so, so they did uh, very well. Yeah, uh, just speaking about Falls Bay, as you know, folks, one of the guests on our uh, uh, one of our panel members, Jonathan van der Valt, um, is a regular show member, and uh, we just want to give our condolences to Jono. Uh, whose father passed away uh, last week. Um, John, our, our, our thoughts are with you. Um, Bronson, uh, from a Belhar point of view, though, uh, 42 points, though, you say you reckon that was coming off the, off the bench, uh, the majority yeah. of those points, or, or where did these 42 points come from? What is it that you guys need to work on? Our discipline. Uh, two yellow cards in that last 10 minutes didn't help with the score being even. Uh, that didn't help us at all. Um, and then obviously, yeah, we need to just be sharp in our, our defense a bit there. And I think our exit strategy wasn't... To, to the point. You keep talking about this exit strategy. Yeah. Are you talking about the last 15 minutes of the game or are you talking about how quickly you get off the field? Or <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, well, um, our hero was also a bit of a villain. He, one of his exit balls went straight up and backwards because the wind just completely took it back. And then, oh. and then obviously, um, uh, Juppie, Mustafa Juppie, he's, he's finishing of the one try from the exit wasn't out and he ran. Yeah. And he scored a Beautiful try, so okay. all that. All right, right, talking about Belha, uh, one of the one of the, the folk thing, folks, one of the things that we love to do is is, is showcase the uh, the clubs who contribute to Cape Rugby TV and to Western Province Club Rugby. Uh, the sponsorship factor It's one of the reasons why this club exi this show exists is so that clubs out there can go and get sponsorship and and uh, and and tell the sponsors that they will um, get their their uh, their company or their brand on television which is uh, something that's unique in south africa um the opportunity to 
for our clubs to go out there and go door knocking and actually offer television coverage. Now, Bronson, you've brought it to me, uh, to us. Uh, we'll, of course, um, digitize this now and, and put it on the show on the back wall. Um, Bella, new sponsor, Dells. Congratulations. You must be very happy with this. Definitely. So I just want to say thanks to Dells Panel Beaters and obviously our executive working around the clock there and James Dalton uh, pushing and, and they assisted with all our kit uh, for all the teams. So all right. thank you. So now I just got to ask you, so uh, I mean, this is a great jersey, Belha, uh, Dells. All right, folks, there you go. So Dells, thanks for, for getting behind um, club rugby. This is the kind of thing that we need. Um, but now the question I've got for you is um, number 25. Uh, that's for Morgan when he, before he retires he'll come play for Bella. <laughs> <laughs> All right then uh, Morgan Newman. Uh, Thanks, Sam. Says your your jersey. I still be, I'm, I still uh, affiliated to a different club, so I'm not going to put it on just now. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> All right, folks. Um, best medals, of course, come on board with Western Province, uh, uh, the Western Province Rugby School of Excellence. Now, if you want to win yourself a um, high sense 40 inch smart TV, it's an incredible TV. These televisions today that are smart with built in Wi Fi, which means you're connected to the internet and you can browse. There's uh, various apps on the Google Play Store, so it's obviously Android driven. If you want to win yourself this Hisense 40 inch smart TV, um, and then just SMS the word best med to 33090. 33090, and you'll go in the mix to win yourself a Hisense smart TV. And one of the folks from Best Med will give you a call to give you a consultation on your medical aid. Find ways to help you reduce medical aid, or maybe even if you want to sign up. So you want to win yourself that Hisense. 40-inch uh, smart TV with uh, YouTube and Netflix and all the other apps from the Google Play Store. Then all you need to do is SMS the word BESTMED to 33090. We'll take an ad break. When we come back, we'll take a look at what's happening in Super League B. Get down to Dulux Maitland for color matching and free assessments where we meet all your paint and contract requirements. We offer fast tinting turnaround time, free delivery and on-site assessments tailor-made to your contract or domestic specifications. Our staff are highly skilled at writing site specs to help you offer your client the best service. Our Dulux Rock Grip range is cost-effective and comes with a 7-year guarantee on all Dulux Rock Grip products. Visit us at 30 Kuburg Road, Maitland and you could win a contractor's trailer valued at 15,000 Rand. Welcome to Factory Shops SA mobile app. This app helps you find your nearest factory shop so you can save money. Download for clever shopping and distance locations. Search or browse. See your nearest shop's trading hours, website or email them, phone them or navigate with GPS to the shop. It's so easy. Factory Shops SA mobile app is the first and only mobile app in South Africa that shows you where your factory shops are. Download now on iTunes or the Google Play. Uh, folks, you're watching Cape Rugby TV, and on board with Cape Rugby TV is, of course, Dulux Maitland. They're situated at number 30 Kuburg Road. Uh, Dulux Maitland will tint anything for you. They come out to your premises. They'll give you expert assessments. If you want to save a lot of money with your projects, especially if you're a contractor, Dulux Maitland will come to your premises. They'll spec your premises, and they'll work out exactly how much paint you need. And at the same time, they will take a look for uh, things like damp or any other construction matters that they need to give you advice on. Uh, um, free delivery anywhere in the Cape Metropole. Look out for their rock grip ranges, including the wall and ceiling paints, the acrylic roof paints, as well as the plaster primers, all available, of course, at Dulux Maitland, number 30 Kuburg Road. Visit the store and, uh, well, when you are there, fill in the form and you put yourself in the mix to win a contractor's trailer worth 15,000 Rand. That contractor's trailer is absolutely fantastic to put in the back of your vehicle, put all your construction materials in there, and uh, really it, it'll help you move all your um, equipment around to your different sites. So just remember again, Dulux Maitland, number 30 Kuburg Road, they're available to help you. They come to your premises and they'll do a full inspection for you and work out the specs of exactly what it is that you need. And at the same time, they'll give you some construction advice. Well, in, certainly in terms of the quality of the uh, materials that you uh, are going to need. All right, welcome back, everybody. Cape Rugby TV, of course, uh, every Wednesday. And if you missed it tonight, or no, well, obviously not if you missed it tonight because you're watching right now, but if you're one of your friends missed it, you can tell them they can catch the repeat on Saturday morning right here on Cape Town TV um, from 9 a.m. through to uh, 10 a.m. Super League B results. It was, of course, uh, 
Belleville lost their third game in a row. They went down 32-21 to Franschhoek United. John Lee Clarsen scored on his return to Kalsrover. It was a 21-17 win for Kalsrover over uh, Hands and Hearts. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, of course, um, uh, Salorian still struggling a little bit there. They lost to uh, Young Peoples 31 points to 11. The win moves Young Peoples now to number six on the log. All right, uh, Super League C. Uh, Elsie's won their home game in a row. Third game, second game in a row at least, as they beat Carlemore 30-13. Macassar up uh, to third on the log. Narrowly uh, beating Goodwood 9 points to 6 and All Saints win their third game in a row as they defeated Strand 22-19. They are three points off top spot in uh, Super League C. In uh, the re other regional results then, it was a uh, win for Police 34-15 over Temperance and City. Uh, Western Zebras beating Young Ideas uh, 20 points to 8 and Rocklands going down to Atlantis 18-8. Retreat beat Silverleaf 48 points to 0. Good win there. Paul League saw uh, lower par 15-10 over Riverstones. Allendale with a 42-5 win over Simondium. And Peril United, 36-15 loss for them against Violets Paul. Right, folks, as you know, best medal, of course, on board with uh, West Broms Rugby and the School of Excellence. The West Broms Under-18 Academy and the Craven Week squads were out of the HPC last week as they gear up for the coastal tournaments taking place in Oatswear next weekend. The final squad is going to be announced uh, after that tournament. Uh, of course, these teams go on to represent Western Province at the national tournaments. That's going to be happening in July and takes place in Johannesburg. We caught up with a number of the exciting young players as well as the head coach of the Western Province under 18 academy side, Clinton van Rensburg. The following Western Province Rugby School of Excellence insert is brought to you by Best Med. Be active, be safe, be happy, be nutri-wise, be fin fit. Well, it's good to finally get going. Um, it's been a series of trials. I think the boys are also tired of the word trials. But um, we've chosen two squads and uh, they'll go and represent Western Province at the Coastal Tournament uh, in the middle of June. So guys will play hard and uh, they, they're still positioned up for grab. So uh, we're looking forward to that Coastal Tournament. Well, it's always difficult and dangerous to compare sides with the previous years. It's like, uh, um, um, I just think this year we've got a, well, there's always massive talent in the Western Cape. Maybe last year it was a little bit easier to select certain positions because there were standouts. This year I think as a group we're going to have, a try. have to fight a little bit harder and box a little bit smarter. Um, but there's always always a, a lot of talent in the, in the Western Cape. And uh, so it, it was good to get going today and, and, and see some of that talent. Well, this year it's, it's one thing to choose on talent, but also character is very important. Uh, I think Western Province under Gert Small has driven that team quite for quite a while. So um, you're looking for guys that can play the game, can, can keep the ball alive, they've obviously um, uh, committed to, 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 the, to the tackle, all those sort of skills. But more importantly, it's the, the character of the boy that's also very important. Has he got work rate? Is he a, a sac does he have a sacrificial mindset? Has he got humility? All those sort of things factor in when it comes at the end of the day. And I must say, having West Province on board with, uh, with the Institute and those guys helping us with selection makes our jobs a lot easier. Just having that extra eye out on the, um, and, and, and an extra input. The following Western Province Rugby School of Excellence insert is brought to you by Best Med. Be active, be safe, be happy, be nutri-wise, be fin fit. Right, the kids of course are gearing up for things, um, uh, getting ready. Clinton van Rensburg, of course, uh, at Ronnebosch, but of course very involved. Um, and and a, a regular panel member here on Cape Rugby TV as well. The Western Province under 18 players in action. We managed to speak to Chris Rousseau and uh, Lucky Glepu, two of the kids that are in the under 18 academy squad. The following Western Province Rugby School of Excellence insert is brought to you by Best Med. Be active, be safe, be happy, be nutri-wise, be fin fit. No, look, um, it's an honour and a privilege to be part of something special. Great bunch of guys, you know, I'm feeling privileged and I'm um, looking forward to the up and coming coastal tournament. No, look, um, it's all about the culture and um, the brotherhood. Um, so, like, we all come from different schools and stuff like that. So, when we get here, we become a family and we speak, up, we speak about a lot of things, you know, of rugby as well, so about school and stuff like that. So, we get along very well. No, it's very lekker, want ja, it's very lekker om hier te wees. Ik weet nog nooit voor in de vorige gehad om hier te kunnen wees. Het is mijn eerste jaar. Ik zie hij daarna en dat is baie great. Die man heeft mij baie laat welkom voel al my, Jan, my eerste keer hier so. Dit is al wel, dit is baie goed voorraag, want um, ek wil nog altijd maar graag vir Stommers bykie gespeel het en om hier deel te wees en te, al die selfde goed te deel as wat hulle het. Dit is een baie goed voorraag en ek denk baie ons sal graag dit wil hee. Ik heb het bijna aan kleiner zo so span mijn skill set gewerkt en zo so, en net om met nieuwe, nieuwe mannen 
so sand te kan speel en so, en nieuwe mense te ontmoet, dit is, en som hulle dit te kan deel, jou talente, dit is ongelooflik. Um, Perlgem, ja nee, dit is een baie goed voorrecht, en um, alle mense wat voor ons al laat te speel het, hulle het baie spring ook al opgelever, en is moeilijk om in die span te kom al klaar, die competitie is baie tyd, maar, en dan, maar as jy span maak, die manne lig jou maar en hulle verbeter jou game, en dis maar hoe jy maar in die WP span op jou einde van die dag kom. The following Western Province Rugby School of Excellence insert is brought to you by BestMed. Be active, be safe, be happy, be nutri-wise, be fin fit. Well, the kids look like they're having a bit of fun there. Uh, Bronson, it's quite a privilege for these young guys to get in these ranks, huh? Yes, definitely. I think they will be very excited before they uh, uh, take their the, the trip to Oudsoering and before they prepare for the, for the uh, various Craven Weeks. But uh, good excitement and a good, uh, like the one kid said, um, it's good to have different cultures all together and from different schools and can share ideas. Yeah. Um, for the coach to just work with him in this time period and get the, his, his, um, the basics right before they head off is going to be a challenging job though. Yeah. Well, we managed to speak to the Western Province Under-18 Craven Week fly off um, Huon Eamon. The following Western Province Rugby School of Excellence insert is brought to you by BestMed. Be active, be safe, be happy, be nutri-wise, be fin fit. Um, so, um, baie groot voorrecht om um, deel te wees van hierdie squad. Daar is baie spelers daar weet, wat, wat ook in die groep wil wees en ons het die, um, die voorrecht om hier te wees vandag en ek wil eerstens baie dankie sê vir die man van Boa wat het ons uitgespaard het om vandag as by mekaar as een groep by mekaar kan gekom het. Um, school, of, die school of Excellence het ons baie gejaap soos um, die preparation voor die proeve het ons soos saam toegekom. Ons het hard gewerk, ons het um, goeie vrienden, ons het mekaar kom leer ken, nie so by die jam, by HBC. En um, ek denk as baie goed dat ons mekaar, mekaar ken en dat ons mekaar, dat ons lekker speel met mekaar. Ek is laas jaar in die onder 18 Kruimweek um, um, span gewees, ons het aan um, Durban gespeel, ons het die Kruimweek gewen. En hopelijk die jaar kan ons het weer wen met die groep um, spelers wat ons het en ons, en ons lyk baie goed. The following Western Province Rugby School of Excellence insert is brought to you by BestMed. Be active, be safe, be happy, be nutri-wise, be fin fit. All right, you and I am uh, Ayman there, uh, the uh, Western Province um, Under-18 Craven Week fly-off um, in the Western Province or BestMed School of Excellence. Yes, uh, Rafir? Homeboy from yesterday, here. There we go, like that. Uh, Morgs, a few years back we were saying there's a shortage of fly-offs. No, no, we definitely don't have a shortage of fly, shortage of fly offs. And uh, nice to see a nice homegrown, uh, homegrown yeah. talent, you know. So, so often we, we ask him, where is he from? And we find out he's from, you know, from way away from Western Cape. And now, <laughs> yes, they're here around the corner. Nice to see. And yeah. let's hope, you know, we see this and it excites us. Let's hope that we can just see this same youngster being groomed, being looked after, being guided yeah. in the right direction. So well, we can see him play for the Stormers one day. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully he, uh, he can take Tony Brown's place in the Stormers. All right, folks. Well, in fact, Tony Brown doesn't play for the Stormers anymore. <laughs> no, well, any, any, <laughs> All right, let's move along. Any player that's not from the Western Cape, you can take his place. <laughs> All right, folks, we'll take an ad break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the fixtures coming up this weekend. Uh, we'll have a chat about the weather and we'll speak to Morgan Newman uh, about his insights from the British and Irish Lions Tour. Of course, they're on tour at the moment. Uh, and if you don't know it, they lost to the Blues today. We'll be back after the break. Color Tone is to wood what a good moisturizer is to skin. Tried and tested, Color Tone is the ideal timber treatment for all timber. From windows to doors, decks to floors, chairs to stairs, Color Tone is your timber treatment of choice. When you see what a great job Color Tone does with wood, you may be tempted to use it on your skin, but don't. Ask for Color Tone at your nearest hardware store. Preserving your wood, protecting our children. Color Tone, the ultimate lead free timber treatment for all wood. Welcome to Factory Shops SA mobile app. This app helps you find your nearest factory shop so you can save money. Download for clever shopping and distance locations. Search or browse. See your nearest shop's trading hours, website or email them, phone them or navigate with GPS to the shop. It's so easy. Factory Shops SA mobile app is the first and only mobile app in South Africa that shows you where your factory shops are. Download now on iTunes or Google Play. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Um, uh, Cape Rugby TV. Um, right, so let's take a look at the uh, Super League A fixtures coming up over the weekend. 
Uh, not a lot of games on the park at the moment, but Belha up against NTK. UCT take on Penil Villages. Um, Bronson, uh, Belha, you guys are up against NTK. Um, they're coming off uh, a win against Penil Villages. Um, n not going to be easy. Yeah, definitely not. Um, obviously, they also need the points as desperately as we need it. But uh, we're going to be prepared. I'm just going to ask our, our supporters to be slightly patient with us. Um, we have learned out of the last three losses. And uh, we will definitely turn the t uh, tables around. Yeah. Morgs, um, you guys just played against UCT. Uh, Peniel Villages uh, had a narrow loss to, um, to NTK. But UCT have got their tails up now. They are again playing at the Green Mile. It's going to be a hard day on the park for, um, for Peniel Villages. Yeah, you know, Peniel Villages are one of those teams that just need to pick up two or three results for the season. I think they probably earmarked their games. And um, I don't see them earmarking UCT as one of the games where they like to go and pick up a result, you know, especially now that UCT have turned the corner, they've settled into their, into their stride. And at the Green Mile, always a tough place to go. So I, I just, um, yeah, I hope Peniel Villages are fielding a strong side to keep the score down. But I, I really think UCT might might um, run away with that one. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at Super League B. There's a couple of derby matches, if you want to call it that, um, on the cards here. Hands and Hearts are up against Crawfontein. Young People's take on Franschuk. Helderberg and Hamlet. Solorians and St. George's. Right, folks, so it's pretty obvious there that if you look at some of those matchups there, Hands and Hearts and Crawfontein at Aikendal, that's going to be a monster match. They're pretty much across the road from each other. So Hands and Hearts and Crawfontein, in my book, that goes down as a derby match. Another derby match, no stranger this fixture to Cape Rugby TV, is of course Solorians up against St. George's. Again, both teams coming from the same area. It's a home game advantage for Solarians, but they'll be looking to uh, make a statement when they take on St. George's over the weekend. That's going to be a fantastic match. We've seen those derby matches in the past, but uh, it's going to it, it's uh, any it's one of those situations where you can say any team can win on the day. Um, uh, certainly, um, St. George's have uh, had a, a taste of Super League A now, as Solarians has. So yeah, look out for those matches in Super League C. Is Langa and Busy Bees. Macassar and Strand, Kylemore and Scottsdean. Right, folks, again, we have derby matches in the cards here on, in Super League C. Macassar and Strand playing at Macassar. Well, it's home ground advantage for Macassar, but Macassar and uh, uh, Strand out of the Harvelberg region, pretty much neighbors. Look out there for a big derby match. Kylemore take on Scottsdean. Langa and Busy Bees is our pick of the week. We haven't been down to Langa this year for a formal league match, but Alfred and the guys and... Um, Busy Bees, of course, uh, coming to Langa Stadium. This is going to be a derby match. You want to get down there if you're in the neighborhood to watch Langa take on Busy Bees. It's going to be an absolute cracker, and that is a definite derby match for you to, to keep an eye on. So come and join us there. Bronson. Yeah, just quickly, JP. Uh, the Charles Morkel Stadium will probably be filled because Western Province is also playing against things Borland yes. as well. So uh, the people can get down to that match as well. Yeah, so Helderberg has certainly got a lot of action in Helderberg this, this weekend. All right, City League, of course, it's Police up against Tech. And then we see Silverleaf in the uh, Southern League take on Rocklands, Thistles and Bishop Lavers. And then in the Northern League is Funder Stell who take on Whistling Wheels. Blue Stars take on Delft. Stellcore are up against Blakes. There's another derby match. Stellenbosch Coronations and Blakes like only a couple of kilometers away from each other playing at Idis Valley. So Stellcore have got home ground advantage. Blakes will be looking to make a statement. Big matches in Stellenbosch then over the weekend. All right, um, Morgan Newman, let's quickly talk to you. The British and Irish Lions, you captained the, uh, I think the under 20. The emerging uh, box. The emerging Springbok side. Today we saw the British and Irish Lions lose to the Blues. This is a provincial team. Um, back in your day, uh, you guys lost to the British and Irish Lions, I think, by one point. What on earth happened here? Look, I mean, it's um, it's a bit of... Uh, it's a difficult one to answer, but I think, you know, firstly, the Blues have been playing together for ages. They've been playing the whole Super Rugby campaign together. So, they are a tie that's been jailing or that's, you know, that know each other. And then the British and Irish Lions, I think, are still trying a few combinations. You know, their, their first game is only, I think, in two weeks' time. So they've still got, they're still obviously gelling combinations together and so forth. But um, if you think of the best in the, the Northern Hemisphere, taking on a provincial side from New Zealand, then you would expect the Northern Hemisphere to come out quite handsome, you know, handsome victors. But um, obviously that wasn't the case. But uh, again, you know, it's, it's very few players in their careers get to play against the British and Irish Lions. Yeah. And um, the Blues guys obviously rose to the occasion, you know, Sunny Ball scoring a good try there in the first half. So... The Blues have obviously lifted their game tenfold and, and the British and Irish Lions still need to hit the straps. Yeah. Uh, Bronson, just moving away from the British and Irish Lions match now, talking back to club rugby, the weather factor. 
It stormed today. We've got water all over. A lot of the parks that have been dry now for the last couple of months are pretty much dust bowls. As this rain is coming down on the field, we're going to see a couple of muddy pitches this weekend. Yeah, maybe the green mile will be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, I can bet you, bottom dollar, I think we've got a good drainage system at the Cordian Park, which should be good. But I'm not really bothered about how the fields look this weekend, to be honest with you. Uh, you must adjust your game plan. We need the water. All the best to the teams. More of the other things, of course, the Springboks are uh, playing this weekend. Um, uh, it, it must be difficult for Alistair Kutsia now to get his team together in such a short time and he's had uh, one or two critical injuries. Yeah, look, I mean, I think, you know, we know that Dwayne's out, we know Damien's out, and we know that uh, Lionel Mapp was also out, but although he came, although he came in late. So, um, yeah, Alistair's going to be, um, you know, he's got his hands full, but again, you know, I think we're at the stage of our supporting the Springboks that excuses are now out the window, you know. I think... Uh, there's, we've seen enough teams or enough players throughout the Super Rugby campaign perform well enough for Alice to pick a good side and go and play a good brand of rugby and really give the French, uh, you know, give them some good, big, get some good victories out of that game. You know, I think the French, obviously, they've got a young side. They've brought an extremely young side across here. They've also had a few injuries. You know, a number of their players have played in the, in the, in the top 14 final and so forth. So... I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking my neck up by saying excuses for the Springboks are done. Alistair needs to put, there needs to be some serious performances put together and um, there's no reason why they can't, you know, even, yeah. even with the injuries they've got. Thoughts, Brunt? Springbok side? French? Any predictions? I think so. South Africa will pull this one off. It's going to be close, obviously, because they're trying a new things with Brendan Fender joining the, um, the coaching panel. Yeah. Um, so we, I'm not sure what we're going to play. We've got a lot of Lions plays. You should be playing a running game. Uh, weather permitting, but if you're going to play Francho staying at, at 10, he'll probably adjust his game plan probably to a kicking one. So um, let's see what's going to come for the end of the day. All right. Morgan Newman, thanks for joining us on the show. Always great to have you here. Yeah, always good to be here. Thanks for having me, James. And Brunt, thank you very much. Good luck for the weekend. Great. Thanks for inviting me again. There we go, folks. Cape Rugby TV. Remember, you can find us on um, Facebook, www.facebook.com <laughs> forward slash Cape Rugby TV. Use the hashtag, hash WP Club Rugby. Uh, stay safe out there, stay warm, uh, spare a thought for the folks that are, are struggling, of course, with uh, the, the weather. Our thoughts are certainly with you. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Have a fantastic rugby weekend. Bye-bye.